Not every as-seen-on-TV product is a waste of money, but how would you really know that unless you try them? Or better yet, we try them for you. This week, we're going to showcase a few as-seen-on-TV products designed for organizing your clutter and cleaning up that garbage dump that you call a living room. With woolly mammoth populations on the rise, it's become entirely too evident that environmentally friendly solutions are a must-needed addition to our everyday routine. We chose to review the aptly titled Grab Bag for that reason alone. The Grab Bag is a reusable grocery shopping assistant that easily clips to each side of your shopping cart. This, of course, allows you to separate your items with the greatest of ease, in addition to allowing you to snub your nose at people who use store-provided bags that often end up in a landfill. When you finally manage to get the assuredly biodegradable tape off to release the treasures within, you'll come to realize why it had such a firm grip in the first place. This box contains not only one, but two grab bags, and some instructions. As an unnecessary but welcomely added bonus, you get two logoed bulb head stickers. Upon review of the instruction manual, we found that there were indeed instructions on how to hook the bag to a shopping cart, using the bag and a shopping cart, as well as how to remove and fold the bag in half when you're all done. To open this guy up, just flip it over and undo the Velcro strap that they included to ensure that your bag stays closed while it's empty. This is where the grab bag really shows its true dimensions. It's almost as wide as a traditional cart, just a hair shallower. It's actually as if this thing was designed to fit inside of a cart. Affixing the grab bag to your shopping cart is actually quite easy, and as you can see, it even works perfectly with our cardboard demonstration box. Go ahead and leave a three in the comments section if Scott needs to trim his arm hair. It's really just as simple as spreading out the bag and hanging the clips right onto the edge. When you're all done, just lift the clips from the basket and carry the bag using the sturdy handles. There's even a nicely sized pocket in the front to put your bruisable fruits into. In conclusion, at just above four and a half stars on Amazon, this thing is one of the highest rated products that we've ever reviewed. We just don't really understand why. It's exactly the same material as this shopping bag that we purchased for a buck, and it holds about the same amount. Sure, your grocer's bag may not stay open immediately due to the fact that there aren't any clips on it, but it's going to stay open once you put items in it. Now, they do actually make a grab bag that's insulated to keep cold foods separated from hot foods, which is a pretty solid idea. But you could easily save that money by dropping any insulated bag inside your traditional sack for a thrifty version with the same effect. Our final verdict is that for most scenarios, all you need is a tried and true reusable bag and then just put your items in it at checkout. Now, they may not have the external pocket for you to hide all your coupons in, but hey, they get the job done just fine and at one eighth of the price. The convenience of the hanging bag is somewhat invalidated by having to take the groceries out again to purchase them because you just have to repack them in again anyway. So while it works as intended, it does create a bit of extra work during your shopping excursion. This is Shoes Under. It's an as-seen-on-TV space saver made to securely hold 12 pairs of shoes. Oh, and uh, finally put an end to that pile of stinkers you keep in your closet. Ideally, you can hide them right under your bed. With a see-through cover, it's also perfect to put them back in the closet, eliminating clutter while staying convenient. After easily unboxing this fine specimen, we are delighted to find the organizer and an instruction booklet. Normally, you wouldn't think to look at the instruction booklet for a shoe organizer, but we're sure glad we did. Not only did it give us a sense of pride and accomplishment, but it also illustrated how to put a pair of stilettos comfortably into one slot. This is obviously very important information for when you're putting away your Friday night cosplay. It also mentions that for best results, you clean your shoes with a damp cloth first and make sure to only store them once they're clean and dry. Let's head over to the closet and put this thing into action. Go ahead and clear out some space for your newfound friend. Next, just unfold the organizer and revel in its majestic splendor. Okay, it looks a little flimsy, but you're just using it to store shoes, right? Not your family heirlooms. You may notice that the dividers aren't really attached at the bottom, but truthfully, this is a good thing. You want the compartments to have a little bit of give when you're dealing with multiple pairs of shoes since they aren't always the same shape. After giving Jack Skellington's clogs the aforementioned wipe down, both inside and out, we're ready to start filling this thing up with our shoe collection. We salvaged these Buffalo Bills shoes from the junkyard, and they fit perfectly. As you can see, that's not the case with men's basketball shoes. At this size, only one will comfortably fit in each compartment, and you don't want to force it because this is actually made from the same material that the grab bag was. So it may not rip immediately, but you don't want to risk it either. Just stick to one per slot and you'll be a happy camper. 
Once it's full, simply flip the transparent cover over the top and zip it closed. After that, transporting your shoes to a hiding spot of your choice is a cinch with this handy handle, and could even make traveling with multiple shoes a breeze. Sliding this thing under and out of your bed on a whim couldn't be any easier, although we did notice that this thing really does take up a bit of real estate when placed in our walk-in closet. Perhaps even a bit too much, it's definitely more suited to be placed in a hallway closet if that's your fancy. Overall, we'd say that the shoes under is a pretty standard fare as far as shoe organizers go, and you pretty much get what you expect, albeit a flimsier version. The majority of low-score reviews on Amazon refer to the material itself or the weak zipper, but if you're just setting this thing on the ground and only adding or removing shoes, it seems to get the job done pretty well. If there was a reason to skip the shoes under, well, it'd probably be the $12.50 price point. For only $5 more, you can actually get a sturdier, similar product that would assuredly stand the test of time. The Spicy Shelf Deluxe is the much-needed follow-up to the original Spicy Shelf Cabinet Organizer. It's an adjustable, stackable solution to keep all your spices organized and easy to access. The Deluxe version claims to be five times stronger than the original, with a non-slip grip built right into the shelf. You know, for those pesky times that your extremely heavy spices slide away on their own. Coming in as our most expensive item at 28 bucks, we wanted to note that you can always find this thing on clearance racks anywhere from discount clothing stores to Goodwill. You may not find the newest version, but snagging the original for three bucks is a steal when it performs the same task. After unboxing all the pieces to the spicy shelf, we were a bit confused as to whether we'd be organizing spices or constructing the Millennium Falcon, but after your panic attack subsides, it's easiest to sort the parts by type and prepare for the task at hand. Heading over to the kitchen, locate whatever cabinet you'd like to install the shelf into, and clear out the contents. When it's clear, go ahead and take the initiative to give your cabinet a nice wipe down. After perusing the instruction novel that came with this product, we found that its construction was fairly straightforward. The sides of the shelf attach to a thin bar that'll end up being at the back of your cabinet. This bar is fairly short, but it comes with snap-on attachments to lengthen it for wider use. Next, simply turn the shelf upside down and insert the side braces and the peg leg. As per usual, the peg leg is a bit shorter, so you'll be attaching a little shoe to it to make it of uniform height. And there you have it, a non-Euclidean spice stash. In our full-size application, it was just a bit too small to fill the cabinet completely. Although it functioned as designed, it wasn't the clean look that we were going for. But no worries, after rearranging some of the extensions in the rear, we went back to our plethora of spare pieces, went with a thinner, side-by-side -side version, using both shelves instead. Upon installation, we'd created the perfect fit, and it's actually very sturdy and does an amazing job of displaying all your spices in easy-to-read format. For half-size cabinets, you would start by removing the existing shelf to make room for Mr. Spicy to move in. Then slide in the shelf and spread it out until you achieve a perfect fit. Once you've got it in there, you just snap on the feet and the peg leg. If you're going for a two-tiered system, just repeat this process, but snap the upper shelf's legs onto the top side of the lower shelf. When it's all loaded up, it looks like an actual adult lives here. And finally, we have a place to showcase our herbs de Provence. In conclusion, we're delighted to say that the Spicy Shelf is a great addition to your everyday kitchen use, and uh, it's got a 4.3 star score on Amazon, which reflects that. It's super handy, and once you get past the initial time investment, it's done deal. You've got it forever. We aren't going to sugarcoat the fact that a nearly $30 investment for a Spice Shelf is pretty steep, but if you don't want to hunt down one in the bargain bin or perhaps cut your own shelf into this shape, we'd say do yourself a favor and make the one-time investment. Build Bonanza may not seem like an organizational product at first glance, but it's all about how you apply it. At its core, Build Bonanza is an adhesive strip that you can attach Lego bricks to. The beauty of this product is that you can use it for a myriad of constructions due to the fact that not only you can cut custom pieces to fit your needs, but that those pieces can be removed and reapplied nearly anywhere. Unwrapping this thing was a small job in itself, but once you breach through the packaging, you'll be met with four multicolored rolls of adhesive Lego-style tape. To give you a quick demonstration, we decided to make a fun key holder for our entryway. Simply snap on the Lego bricks in your desired fashion, 
and snip the tape to size. Place the brick tape onto the surface of your choice and then head back over to your workbench with your bricks and obviously some animal themed keys. Go ahead and grab a drill with a slim bit and drill a small hole right through the bottom corner of your Lego brick, ensuring to get through both front and bottom of the block. When you're done, just wiggle a key ring through the holes. There you have it. Easy keychain that you can attach to your entryway while you're home and constantly be stabbed while it's in your pocket. There's tons of things you can do with this stuff, so we also made a convenient mail slot just to give you an example of other ways you could use it. Not sure you'd really want to display this thing in your living room, but perhaps you live in a Pee Wee style funhouse, so it might fit the decor. In conclusion, if you're looking for a fun way to make some storage components for your home, you can't go wrong with Build Bonanza, and it gives you an excuse to play with your Lego bricks again. Moving on. The Attach a Trash is the 2018 winner for the most eponymously named as seen on TV product. It does exactly what the name suggests. It's a device that you use to install your own little trash bag wherever you need it. It's perfect for anything from your home office to a camping trip, and it requires no screws. It can be set up in seconds. It's also a great way to reuse plastic bags you might have laying around the house, and it holds up to 10 pounds. So it's pretty sturdy and can carry the burden of your scrap papers, used Kleenex, or about 310 empty cans of Mountain Dew. After cracking this thing open, we're met with three separate pieces to construct our device, as well as some nifty instructions to follow that three-step process. All you really have to do is slide a bag into the white ring and then slide the gray ring inside of it until it clicks into place. With the addition of the lid, you're all set. And don't let the look fool you. This thing actually works quite well. Coming in at a paltry nine bucks, the Attach a Trash is the epitome of a value purchase simply based on its varied applications. We have fixed it to many things in the house, most notably a curtain rod, or even putting it on your full-size trash can for recyclable materials. On the go, hey, why not attach a trash to your belt loop? Board at home, set up some household trash get ball. Kobe! Clean up your room like one of the greats. Boasting an average of 3.8 stars on Amazon, it would appear that some folks would prefer to drag attach a trash straight to the dumpster. But don't let them dissuade you. There's a definite value to having temporary convenience at your disposal, and it can easily help you keep clutter down while toiling away at something more important than a trip to the can. Thank you so much for watching. If there's some ads seen on TV products that you'd like to see in action, let us know in the comments. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.